Hello everyone, welcome back to Twisted Serenity. Thanks for clicking on my channel. So today I will be participating in the 5 under 5 challenge and we'll get a little bit more into that later on. But remember, if you like what you see, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post my next video. So with that being said, sit back and relax the craft with me. Let's get started. Okay, you guys, so for our first one, we have this sign from Dollar Tree and it has like that garland stuff oh my god i forgot what that stuff is called but i'm gonna rip that all off and i want to make this fit more my style and i save that stuff you guys because i save everything because i never know when i'm gonna need it so it has like those little things where the garland was holding on to but i take my little clippers and i'm gonna rip those well i should say cut them all off because then i'm gonna take some burlap that I got from Walmart and I got a bunch of burlap a while back because Walmart had like this big clearance sale and like I tell you guys all the time check other stores because you might get more bang for your buck than a Dollar Tree because that's a pretty big roll for it was only I want to say and my Walmart was only a dollar fifty and then there was rolls that were only like 75 cents so I like like so I like the color orange that this has so I just rip it and um, cut it into like small pieces and then using hot glue and very carefully you guys because this is burlap. Um, I'm going to start by gluing the front and then I'm going to pull it nice and tight and then I'm going to flip it around and then I will fold it over and then I will glue the back pieces. So basically I'm just going to wrap up piece by piece of each of our carrot. I start out with the bottom pieces first and then i will go to the top piece of each one and then any extra burlap i just took my scissors and i just trimmed it up just to give it like a nice clean look so like um when i got to i don't know why i keep saying like but when i got to the top to do the top piece i did um like where the stem would be i just cut those pieces into like strips i didn't cut them all the way off just to tuck them in between like the stem pieces of this little this would be considered like a wreath form type thing right i don't know uh, here we go rambling again but as you guys can see i just did trim off i should say split up the top pieces and like i said you guys please be careful it is burlap if you guys are gonna do it like this and it's hot glue that's why i'm using that little um silicone spatula because you will get burned so I'm just trying to look out for you guys, honestly. So just be careful, you guys. Please, please, please. Okay, so we have it all wrapped up. And obviously, we need to cover um, those pieces up and, you know, make stems for our carrots. So I have, I don't know if this, is this called like onion grass, you guys? I'm not even sure. But I took this greenery I had. And I just, what I did was, it had like a, this was like from a plant or a wreath that I had. And it all fell apart um, like it actually broke so I saved all the greenery that was on the wreath and what I'm doing is I'm just tucking it into the top of the burlap and then I will glue and then I glue the like the back the bottom of like the greenery um, of the onion grass like the, the last one in the back I will glue it to the plastic piece on the carrot and then I just ripped off some single pieces and I glued them right in to make it look more full now i left the welcome to our patch exactly how it was because it was just too cute to touch and then i grabbed some like tubing is it tubing mesh from dollar tree and i wrapped a piece around each um each one of our carrots where the carrot met the stem and then i made some bows out of the mesh is that called mesh and then i just put the booze <laughs> not the booze and then I just put each bow on each carrot. And that was it for this one, you guys. Okay, you guys, this one's very simple. I'm grabbing this wood piece from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to go in with some orange paint and just paint the bottom of the carrot orange. It is apple barrel acrylic paint, so I give it two coats, let it dry. Once I have my carrot all dried up, I'm going to grab... I didn't have a sponge brush, you guys, that was small enough for the polka dots I wanted. So I just grabbed the Dollar Tree roller and I had to improvise and I grabbed Waverly Chalk Me in the color pumpkin and I just gave our little carrot polka dots. 
as you can see i'm dabbing it on but since it is a roller and it, is, it does have that little hole in the middle I, I just went in with a little roller and i just dabbed up and down just to fill in the circle then obviously go figure i paint our stem green um regular i was using a lot of just regular acrylic paints on this um it was too plain for me the polka dots i wanted them to pop out a little bit more so i go in with a little brush and i just make little like little lines in the middle of our poke well i mean i'm sorry in our polka dots now to make our carrot pop out a little bit more we're gonna go in with some detailing so i just grab another like small brush and i'm going to go around the stem first with some regular black acrylic paint i just don't want this to be just like a plain carrot that just painted so then i also grab different colors of green and do kind of like a dry brush um and blend it in with my finger on the stem of our carrot then i grab my black paint marker and i go around the orange part as well and i kind of did like the paintbrush on the stem but i didn't find my black paint marker until afterwards so i need to top it all off i grab all my different ribbons like the stitch ribbons, I have those in my stash. And I think I got those at Walmart. And then I grab that carrot ribbon that's from Dollar Tree. And I attempt to make a, me a messy bow. And I attach it onto our carrot. And that is it. Okay, so today, you guys, I am participating in the 5 Under 5 Challenge. is where we make five different projects for under $5. And our host is Emily from Farm Charm Chic. And our guest host is Shannon's Crafty DIYs. And in my description box, I will have a playlist with a bunch of other YouTube creators. And I guarantee that you guys will get some inspiration for Easter and for springtime on a budget. So we're on to the next one, you guys. And as you guys see... I grabbed um, one of those wood Dollar Tree fences. I cut the twine off and I painted it white and I'm going to set it to the side. Then I have this galvanized bunny and I think this is from like a sign that I had that I used and I save everything. So I sand it down because I want to paint it and I noticed with like these pieces, if you sand them off, the paint will hold better. And then I grabbed Fawn from Waverly Chalk Paint and I gave it two coats of this paint. And I think bunnies are not just for Easter, they're for springtime as well. So you could decorate with bunnies for all of springtime and it's just, I think it's the cutest little thing ever. Now, these little florals are from Dollar Tree and they were just perfect size that I needed. So I ripped off a couple stems, but I did not want them purple. So I took different color paints. I took, I think it's like Pink, Pink Sky from Waverly, Ocean Blue from Waverly, Light Blue from Apple Barrel, and then I painted one of them with the fawn color from waverly as well so I, i'm sorry you guys i'm losing my voice i'm sick again <laughs> so i paint um each one and then once each one dries to give it that glossy look again i will go over it with mod Podge. and i did paint them these colors because because you guys are going to see in just a second we did it to match our bunny and i didn't want to leave our bunny plain because it was just too cute so these are some dollar tree rub-on transfers and I ripped them up individually and I just took the back of my paintbrush and very carefully, not too hard since the bunny is galvanized. I didn't want to pull up any paint. I covered our entire bun our entire bunny with the rub on transfers. And that's the reason why, like I said, the florals, I try to get them as close to close to color to the rub on transfers. So then I take our little bunny and very quickly, because you guys know hot glue does not like galvanized pieces. I glued it onto our little fence more to the right side than anything because then I'm going to take our florals and I am going to place the florals behind his hand so it could look like the bunny is holding the little floral bunch. I don't know about you guys, but I think that is just too stinking cute. Okay, so I have a piece of a craft stick. I'm always cutting craft sticks, so I always save, like, the pieces that I have. And I'm just going to round out the edges a little bit. And then I'm going to paint it between the color of, like, light pink and pink, pink sky. So I just mix up those two colors a little bit. And then I just hand wrote in Hello Spring and traced it with my black paint marker. And then I took our little sign and I glued it onto the top left of our little fence. 
Now I wanted this piece to be standing. I took two Jenga like Tumble and Tower blocks, sorry, and I painted them white and just glued them to the back of our little fence. And that was it for this one, you guys. I love how stinking cute this one is. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so for this one, you guys, I have this sign from Christmas. I'm going to rip off the twine. And then it was so easy to rip off those the border piece. Be, and then I wanted to rip off the paper. And just when you're pulling it up, the paper came right off with it. So easy. I mean, I was happy because usually the paper is the hard part. So then I gave it two coats of white acrylic paint. And then I just let it dry. This one's so quick, you guys. But it comes out so beautiful. Now, I took a brush and some elephant chalk paint. And I'm going to give it some like strokes of dry painting. Yeah, or dry, dry brushing. And then I just set it to the side. Why I take our border pieces. And I stain them very 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 heavily with waverly wax so it's not real wood and so what's gonna happen if you go to white bit it's gonna come all off so i just keep on like stroking the brush up and down until it's dried and until it absorbs all the way really wax now once i have all my border pieces done i made a decal on my cricket well, I should say a quote, and it's by Ellen Everett, and it's such a beautiful quote. So I just weeded it out, and I was so careful, you guys, because I ran out of, like, vinyl and transfer tape. If you guys have a printer, you guys could easily print it on your printer and transfer it right into the frame. So now I'm just taking our border pieces. They're all dried up, and I'm just going to attach it onto our sign. And I didn't realize my mommy shark mug with coffee is showing in the back. And once I have all our border pieces attached, I just grab our decal and I transfer our decal onto our sign. I give it a little bit more of a little bit more of the dry brush of elephant chalk paint. And that was it for this one, you guys. How simple yet elegant and beautiful. I love how this looks. Okay, you guys, we're grabbing these tags from Valentine's Day. It is perfect because it was two tags for $1.25. So I start off, I'm going to clean them up. I do rip off the paper, but I do end up using, flipping them around and using the back anyways. And I grab one tag and I paint it with Waverly Chalk Paint, the color Fawn. And I give it two coats and then I'm going to set it to the side to dry up. Then I'm going to take our second tag. And let me tell you, Dollar Tree is setting like stepping up their game with all the beautiful fabrics they brought in those were some that i just grabbed in my last trip and i'm gonna grab that blue and white stripe one and i'm gonna go in with some mod podge i cover our tag with some mod podge and then i cut a piece of that fabric and i lay it on our tag so i did the upper half first i smoothed it out and then i did the same thing for the bottom half I waited for it to dry completely and then I go in with my nail filer and I'm going to sand the edges of the fabric like the tag so I do it in a downward motion and sorry you guys I'm completely out of frame it, just to get all those pieces like extra pieces off of the tag and to give it a nice clean look. So since we added fabric to the tag it didn't have the hole anymore so we needed to create a new hole so I grabbed my weeding tool poked a little hole and then use the paintbrush just to make the, the hole a little bit bigger. It was as simple as that. Now moving on to our tag that we painted with the fawn color. I printed out this decal on my Cricut. And I just transferred it right onto there. Now our tag needed more color to it. At least in my opinion. So I have those Dollar Tree rub-on transfers. And they had the perfect colors. Especially to match the fabric of the tag. So I did cut them out individually again, and I'm just using, as you guys see, I just use, I improvise. I use whatever I have. I'm using a craft stick, and I'm just rubbing on a bunch of the rub-on transfers. And like I said, I love these. I've never seen these at my Dollar Tree, so I did grab a couple packs the other day. So once I have them all transferred on, like the amount that I wanted, 
I take my Hello Spring and I lay it on top of my my blue and white stripe tag and I tilt it a little bit. And as you guys can see in the corner, I did it. I was gonna do rub on transfers on the back of the tag, but I realized it wasn't gonna show that much. And plus, I love like the more plain look on the blue and white. Did I say black and white the last time? The well, the blue and white stripe one. I take some hot glue and I just lay them on there, making sure making sure the holes line up with each other. I was gonna put twine. You could put twine in, you know, in the holes as like the hanger for it. I just kept it simple and I ripped a piece of the blue and white fabric and I stuck it right through the holes and I just tied it at the top and I don't know I just like the look that I just gave it and that was it for this one you guys it's so stinking cute <laughs> So that is it for today and I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember if you like what you see don't forget to like, share and subscribe and turn on that bell notification to be notified when I post my next video. Don't forget to check out the playlist in the description box. Remember this is the 5 under 5 collaboration with a bunch of amazing creators and I appreciate every single one of you guys and I thank you guys for always supporting me. And as I always say this world could throw you twists and turns but always make good choices. Till the next one you guys.